hey guys what's up so this is continuations of web service automations and this is the fourth video so in last video we had some issue because uh, it was a very minor mistake and i will tell you what the mistake was and maybe even you will get whenever you will implement with the framework so we need to be very careful with the scope of the dependency right so if you look at the pom.xml what we have here is uh, in every dependency we have the scope called test so this is scope you should not keep that I have commented now right so just select that and you know control uh, backslash the scope will get commented even here uh, for rest assured I have commented for JSON I have commented and for test ng I have commented once you have commented the scope in the pom.xml again do you know right click on the project go to the run as and maven install and then what you do is you do right click on the project go to the maven and update project and you can do force update once right and after that the same service whatever we have designed in the last class the same service will work so let me uh, do run as java applications so when we do run as java applications what happens is uh, you will get a response from the server so uh, let's wait for that yeah so this is your response so response has come from the servers like this is the response right this is the response we are getting from the server when we are sending the request to the server now how do we validate how do we validate the response like response we need to validate so for that what we will do is we will copy the response whatever response we have we will copy the response from here and from res for response also we need to write a pojo class so what we will do uh, here in the google let me go to the uh, json to pojo schema site so json to pojo so let me go to this json to pojo and here we as i have shown in the last class we can convert your json to pojo classes so let me delete here paste it here and then select json and json because we are going to convert json to json and click on preview so when we click on preview we can see that this is your pojo classes so here also first one you have a customer wrapper second you have a customers and third you have a example so example is always parent class of all the classes that you need to understand and you need to be very very careful whenever you are writing a pojo classes right so this guy uh, example is a parent class of all the classes and this example you can give a custom name remaining other classes name like remaining class what you have here is a customers and customer wrap but this you cannot change so first let me copy this class import control c uh, come uh, we'll come to the eclipse and here we'll make one more package so like request pojo uh, what i will do is i will make one response pojo new package form dot service dot response pojo and inside that i'll create one class uh, i'll create one class saying that uh, i'll make it login response pojo and then what i'll do is uh, I'll delete this first and I'll paste it and then I will rename this rename to login response page now whatever class we have seen customer wrapper and customer class right now we need to copy one by one so we will go here first let me copy uh, customer so copy this class come to the eclipse uh, make one class make this class finish then uh, we will copy this import package name do not copy because your package name is different copy till here control c come back delete this paste it here and yeah 
make sure that everything is fine then we control a control shift f yeah so your customer class is ready now we have one more class that need to be copied which is nothing but customer wrapper so control c come to this new and class paste it here make this class and we will copy from import still here come back delete this and paste it okay. so now your you know response pojo is ready so that's how we copied all the response pojo, uh, pojo and this guy uh, this guy is your main class for the login response now as we know that service is working fine right and second thing is we should not hard code the url here we should not hard code the url here so what we can do in the web service uh, here in the services wherever we have we can make one more class new and let's say i'll make one class called url builder okay i will keep one class and here uh, we will keep all our you know urls so that it is easy for it is easy for us we can handle so here i'll make one variable called public static final because this will not change and then i will write login url is equal to this so this is our login url right okay so okay so public final static or public static final both are fine a string and this is the url now what we will do is wherever we have to call that that's how we should design a framework it should be very easy for any changes dot login url right so that's how we can call that now this guy this login guy we are going to call from the test script so what this guy should do this guy should return basically first do one thing put this into a try catch very important right click surrounded with try catch and remove this line and this guy should return the response so whenever i will call i should get a response a response then change here type to a response type and if let's say some exceptions come it should return null right so if there is no exceptions a proper response will come if the exceptions it will go to the catch it will print and it will return null so that's how we should design that's how we should design a service and here you can write a comment uh, slash double star enter you can write that this api will perform login operation right so your one api is ready now we will go to the src test java here here we will design our test so new will design a class will design uh, let's say login api test okay click on finish and here i'll be using public void login api test because i'm going to design a test ng test so i'll write here at test place mouse over here import that test ng library so test got added here then what we need to do here is we can make the reference of service class service because the service class has all the api right this guy has all the api so i just made the reference of service here i will create the object of service class that's how uh, we can access the method of service and here i will write service dot 
login right and what i will do is uh, i'll just copy this data i want this data so i'll go to the login api right and i can verify that now from the service i will comment all that because this service is tested and it is working fine now we'll go to the login api test here and this guy will give us the response so i'll do response data so this response data will give us the response so what i will do i'll make one uh, response variable and then when we get a response we need to parse the response so parsing logic we need to write and for this login response we have the response pojo classes we have written the response pojo classes this is request and this is response so we have three response pojo classes for the login okay which we will see that so i'll make in the different video guys because the video will uh, will be longer because we need to do some more coding so thank you guys thank you for watching this at least till here you guys are clear and let me do one thing let me uh, run your test also so that you'll have a confidence so response data dot as a string so if i run this test you will get very nice response which you can see that allow so see uh, your test is running and uh, it will take some time and response see response has come right so this is your response the response has come from the server right this is the response so thank you guys thank you for watching this please like my video and subscribe my channel and i will make sure that i'll give my 100% and i will make sure that you should learn everything okay thank you guys thank you once again